Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, we are headed out to Abilene, Texas today. It's kind of a close area for us, but while our RV is in the shop, we're gonna take you along on the little adventure and show you the little hidden gems that are in the Central Texas area. Hi, and we have made it to the Abilene Zoo here in Abilene, Texas. Just look around. There's barely anyone here, so if you're wanting a really cool spot with no crowds, this is a place to go. That's right. So we're starting out in the flamingo habitat, which is super cute, right outside the little gate. This zoo, I'm telling you, is a hidden gem for the big country of Texas. If you love zoos, if you are a nature fanatic, come give this place a try. It is smaller, it is well maintained. You're not gonna deal with crowds. There's just something about these really small zoos that let you get closer to the animal and you get to enjoy it because you're not getting knocked over by a bunch of other people. Okay, we're hanging over here with the Texas Whooping Crane. That is at the Texas Aransas National Wildlife Refuge. But we're here with this little guy today, along with their breeding conservation effort. One of the few places that you can find them here in Texas in a zoo is the Abilene Zoo. As you can tell and hear in the background, there is construction going on here at the Abilene Zoo. It's always expanding. It's always making its enclosures better for the animals. Uh, I went here before when I was a little kid, and that was back in the day when they had the poor lions in concrete cages, very, very small. They've changed all that now. They're definitely trying to enrich these animals' lives over here, and I think they're doing a pretty good job. And I know they have a very successful giraffe breeding program here. They've had several calves, so we'll show you some of those as well. Over here we have the great horned owl. I'll see if I can get a close-up of this guy. He is one of the most common owls in America. And did you know he's one of the few animals that will regularly eat skunks? Don't be messing with your owls out there. They are good for you. You leave them alone. <laughs> some fish food over there that we were gonna feed to the fish, but I think the ducks heard us and they are flocking over here, quacking up a storm. Oh, there you are. You can see they're competing. What? I have the body of an animal. Zoom in on that. Oh, 
So I'm having to watch my step because there's a lot of puddles out here right now. But would you look at the amount of plant life that they have out here. They've done an amazing job of keeping a lot of the natural, native, and close to native species for this area. And it's gorgeous. There have been hummingbirds and butterflies and bumblebees that I have seen just within being here for a few minutes. So they've done a really excellent job of keeping some native stuff. <laughs> The Abilene Zoo has featured African Savannah lions since 1966. Currently, there are two females and one male on exhibit. All three are on loan from the Fort Worth Zoo. He says, get me out of here, there's snakes everywhere. <laughs> So we come over here to the cougar exhibit and when I told my husband, hey, check out this cougar over here, he looks at Only by 11 months, it's not that bad. The Abilene Zoo is just about a 16 acre zoo with over a thousand animals representing 250 species. It opened in 1966 and in 2007 a controversy involving elephants spurred the park into focusing more on the health and enrichment of the animals and their care. Millions were spent on upgrading habitats and leaning toward North and South American species that needed conservation effort and awareness. The zoo sits right beside a small little lake. You could almost call it a tank out here in Texas. Great, it's got little boat rides for your family or your kids to check out. Nice scenery and a 
good place, a nice little spot where you can sit, have a picnic out here, watch some of the wildlife, and enjoy your day here at the zoo.